What's up y'all, my name is Rhino Spartan, and I am going to give you a guide on how to move around using an Xbox controller in Space Engineers. Now, I'm going to start off with basic character movements. If you want to learn how to just drive a rover, skip to this point in the video. If you want to learn how to fly a ship, skip to this point. Now, starting off with basic character movements, there are three forward movement speeds. Walking, jogging, and running. This can be controlled using the left stick, like most other games. You can also look around using the right stick, also like many other games. Now depending on how far you pull your stick, it changes your movement speed. Now for side movement speed, there's really only two speeds. There's like a walk and kind of a jog speed. Now, now for moving backwards, there are also two speeds, kind of a walk and a jog. Now to crouch, you want to push B. Also very simple stuff. There's only one speed for movement. It's kind of a tiptoe, almost. And this goes for any other direction. There's one speed. Now, like most other games, the jump button is, of course, the green A button. Now, the jetpack is where it gets kind of tricky. To enable jetpack, you want to push Y and you can look around using uh, the right stick. Uh, very similar stuff, and to rotate your character from side to side while using the jetpack, you want to use, uh, you want to hold down the left bumper and push the right stick from side to side. And to go up, you want to push A, to go down, you want to push B. And the same, the controls for going side to side, forward and backward, are also the same. And the movement speeds for all four sides are act, uh, all six sides, are exactly the same. So you can go the same speed as you are backwards as you are going forwards. Moving on, we got rover movements. Now to get inside the cockpit or control seat you want to push X. Now you can't actually move or do anything until you release the handbrake. This can be done by pressing Y. Instead of using the right trigger or left trigger to accelerate and decelerate, you want to use the left stick to accelerate and decelerate. Now for turning, it is also the left stick. But if you have a gyroscope, you can give the, your turning a little bit of a boost by using the right stick. It's a bit confusing, but if you practice enough, you'll get the hang of it. Next we have starships and airships. Now they have a very almost identical movement style to the jetpack. What you want to do is hop in the cockpit using X and release the landing gear or magnetic plate lock by pressing Y. Now for looking around, you want, want to of course use the right stick and it could be different if your controls are inverted. Now to ascend or go up, you want to press A. To move or rotate from side to side, you want to hold down the left bumper and move the right stick from side to side. To descend or go down, you want to press B. Now, just like the jetpack, you want to use the left stick to move from forward or backward or from side to side. Now, unlike the jetpack, there might be more thrusters facing in different directions than others. Uh, let me, that didn't make much sense. Let me elaborate further. More often than not, there are more thrusters pointing downward than there are thrusters pointing from side to side. 
So I would recommend sort of banking your turns to turn a little bit more easily. Now, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any further questions, please leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.